right, so here I have my pottery. I have uh, two colors that I chose, purple and yellow. And I got two bigger flat brushes and then one smaller brush. I'll save that for later. So when you're painting pottery, you'll notice like a lot of times your pottery will have uneven surfaces, a little bit bumpy. That's okay. When you go to paint it, I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint on the tip of the brush. I don't need to shovel it or dig for it. And when you lay the paint on, because it's uneven, it's uh, easier to kind of dab the paint on. Make sure your brush always feels nice and smooth. And then once you paint an area, it helps to go like this at the very end and brush it nice and smooth. This will get rid of any mountains of paint and help it dry faster. Brush it smooth. I'm painting this whole side <clears throat> purple. I'm trying to get everywhere. Sometimes I'll notice students when they go to paint, they don't get enough paint on their brush and paint starts to look like this. We don't, we don't want these white patches showing through. So as soon as you start seeing this on your pottery, that means you need some more paint. Dab it on, brush it thin. Brush it thin. Sort of pull the brush back to you. I'm going all the way up to the tip of it too. You'll notice when I'm doing it, I'm painting the whole side, except for the very bottom and the very bottom edge. I wanna keep that nice and clean. So here I'm back to the beginning already, where I started. And that first spot I already, the first spot I painted, you can see it's already getting dry because I spread it nice and thin. And you'll see the bottom of it here, nothing on the bottom, nice and clean. You can still read your name on it. And there's a little bit of a gap at the very bottom edge too. So it won't stick to the table, won't cover up your name. I might just do a little bit of this top edge too. So I painted the whole outside of it. Now the inside, I could paint the whole thing purple. I have a nice one solid color. Uh, if you want to, you can switch to a second color on the inside. Same technique. Dab it on and then brush it thin. Try to have your paint cup right next to the pottery so it's easy to reach. It's okay for this yellow to come up and touch the purple a little bit. They can overlap so it's fully covered. Double check this for any spots that I missed. 
looks pretty solid. So I painted the outside and the inside, and because I did a nice job uh, pulling this and spreading it thin, this is pretty dry already. So if you wanted to do um, like a decoration on top of this once you're finished with your second color, you could take this smaller brush and use it for other kinds of shapes, dots, or some kind of pattern or simple decoration on the outside of this. So there's my pottery, fully covered everywhere except the bottom.